Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be trying to help you win your first grand challenge. If you're trying to win your first grand challenge with log bait, I recommend using this log bait deck because Inferno Tower is really strong. And there's a lot of random decks in GCs and Inferno Tower is pretty good at dealing with those. So yeah, um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and comment what you want to see in the future. I am going to be making a, a Discord server as well, because um, I said I would make a Discord server at 20k subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support recently, it does mean a lot. But, into the game, I'm just going to Valkyrie here to counter the Skeleton King and Valkyrie. It should work pretty well, and if you guys are looking to win your first grand challenge, I recommend using your best deck. And I assume that if you're watching me, your best deck or your favorite deck to play is Log Bait, so I'd recommend playing this bait version. And as well as, don't get upset after a loss, because you can lose a match and still win a grand challenge. You do have two lives, and losing hope after one loss will just hurt you in the next match, because you don't have a good, like, mind space going forward, and you won't be as optimistic, and you might play worse. So, yeah. I'm just going to Valkyrie the back here for this Skeleton King. Um, I'm going to Princess in the back here. I guess I'm going to put it up top. Okay, goes for Valkyrie Griever. That was kind of bad. I'm going to go for an E-Spirit up top. And I can go for a Log as well. Yeah, I need to Log these Skeletons. And then I can go for a Goblin Barrel here. Because he is low on Elixir and he wasted his arrow, so this should get a lot of damage. This guy's playing, like, I think it's like a Graveyard Freeze deck. Um, but a really nice start there, taking this tower already. And I also recommend, if you're looking to win your first Grand Challenge, make sure to... Try to be passive at the beginning, like, Goblin Barrel first play is fine, but don't try to be overly aggressive, because it's like the global tournament, you do only have three lives, like, you can only lose two times, and then on the third time, you'll be out. So I recommend being a little bit more passive. I'm just gonna guards here to protect this princess, and then I'm gonna Inferno Tower here to help defend this Inferno Dragon. I'm just gonna cycle a Goblin Barrel to maybe bait out his arrow, so then I can use guards on his graveyard. Okay, just go for ignore. I'm gonna Valkyrie up here to pull it back so that it doesn't tank the tower. And I can just log. And then E Spear. Because Graveyard is much easier to defend without something tanking. So I can go Guards here as well. He did have a freeze, so blocking the bridge didn't really matter, but it still killed the Skeleton King, so it's fine. I'm just gonna Princess in the back here. There isn't really much time for him, so I'm just gonna go for a Valkyrie here to take back the Valkyrie. I'm gonna Defensive Goblin Barrel here, and then I can go Electro Spirit as well. I'm just gonna log, and then I think I should be good. I can guards too, just in case. And yeah, a really nice one there, just capitalizing on his early mistakes and taking the tower just to beat a pretty tough matchup. And in this matchup, you need to be pretty aggressive at the beginning, but you need to play a very nice defense in double elixir because it is hard to defend graveyard arrows and freeze. So yeah, a nice win there, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm against this guy. I don't really know who he is. He's saying good game. I think he wants to draw, but I don't know who he is, so I'm not going to draw. I'm just going to play it out. Um, okay, he goes for Skeleton King. I'm just going to guards on the right. See what he wants to do. Um, what? He actually has a Mega Knight. That's kind of weird. I'm going to go for an Inferno Tower up here to hit the Skeleton King, and then I'm going to go for an E-Spirit here to pull in the Mega Knight to also kill the Mega Knight with the Inferno Tower. This is what I mean with the Inferno Tower being really strong. I'm going to go for a Goblin Barrel here. He goes for a snowball. I do get a shot there, which is nice. I'm not really sure what his deck is. Looks like Mega Knight Graveyard, I guess. That's all I can really think of. But I don't know why he has Skeleton King and the Mega Knight. Um, I'm just going to Princess the back towards these two Zappies. Um, I think he has Arrows as his spell, so that's not great to see. Um, I'm just going to log these Zappies here. Okay, um, my princess should live, which is great. I'm just going to Valkyrie in the back, same lane as the Zappies. Okay, um, I might go for an Inferno Dragon. Okay, that was a, wait, that was a bad Inferno Dragon. I'm going to Inferno Tower to kill this Inferno Dragon and protect my Valkyrie. And then I'm going to Goblin Barrel back here because he needs the Mega Knight. And then it will pull back the Mega Knight and I can get the Valk on the tower. Nice! That worked out so well. And then this Mega Knight's just going to die to the Inferno Tower. Perfect. So I can just E-Spirit here to kill this Mega Knight, unless he like uses something to kill it. Okay, he used his Mega Knight. I'm just gonna guards in the back and then go for a high Valkyrie. And then, um, I'm gonna Princess the Bridge right now, because he's very low on Elixir. 
then I can go for a Goblin Barrel right now. He puts Skeleton King right when he hit 4. He doesn't have any el Elixir here to kill this, so I think I'm going to actually take the tower already. Oh, and it killed the Skeleton King. Nice. That's perfect. Um, okay, I almost got the tower. I'm just going to log an E-Spirit to kill these Zappies here. See what he wants to do. I think I can guard the bridge as well to just apply pressure because he doesn't want to lose the whole tower. He does want to force Rocket log. Okay, oh wait, the guard went to tower. I'm going to Goblin Barrel as well. I think this will be tower. Okay, no, it's not tower yet. Okay, I'm just going to log to finish off the tower and then... I think I'm going to set up an Inferno Tower right now. It's a pretty safe play, and he needs to block it or else he'll just shred the whole Mega Knight. Um, I think he's going to Grave it, so I'm just going to kite back the Mega Knight with an E-Spirit, actually. Yup. Because kiting it back with the E-Spirit, now the tower's just on the Mega Knight. Let's go for Valkyrie here for the Inferno Dragon and Mega Knight. And it seems to be a pretty solid game in defense here. Can kind of Inferno Tower again for all this stuff over here. Go for a high E-Spirit again to pull it back. Yeah, that was another really clean game and just a textbook way on how to beat Mega Knight Graveyard. Just applying pressure when he's low and just not really letting him cross the bridge to go in for a graveyard push. A nice win there. I'm in the next match against Chihuro. Sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. This guy does seem to be Japanese. Okay, he goes for Archer Queen and Skeletons. I'm not going to rocket that because I'm not sure. It could be pigs, but it might be Expo as well, so I don't really want to risk it. I'm just going to go for a Valkyrie here on this queen. Okay. Um, hopefully a full counters. Okay, I need the E-Spirit as well. Okay. Yeah, he has Expo, so it's a good thing I didn't rocket it. Or else he would just go like Expo and Tesla and I'd just lose. So I'm just going to log here. I hope he has um, Fireball and not Rocket because that would Rocket's way more difficult. I'm going to Princess here on this E-Spirit because I don't think he'll expect it. Oh wow, he actually caught it. That was really well played from him. I'm just going to Guards here on this Valkyrie. This Guards placement does fully counter the Valkyrie, which is very nice because it only hits like the first Guard once instead of hitting the two in the back because Guards have a longer range than Valkyrie. See what he wants to do here. Okay, I'm just gonna E Spirit towards this queen and then I'm gonna Valkyrie it as well. Let's go for a Valkyrie here on this queen and that should kill it. I might have to log as well. Okay, no, I don't. I'm just gonna Goblin Barrel in the back here. He wastes his E Spirit. Oh, wait, he wasted his Tesla as well. That was kind of a bad E Spirit. He should have just wasted it, like put it in the middle to block possible Princess so he didn't have to waste his Tesla, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna go for a princess in the back here because it should bait out his fireball and that's just good keeping him lower on elixir Uh, he actually goes for a rocket. I disagree with that I'm gonna e spirit the back guards and then put my goblin barrel in the back because he doesn't have his login cycle yet he, He's not back to it Okay, he can get it now. Okay, so I got quite a bit of damage there, which is always great Um, I'm gonna be really aggressive here because he doesn't have his login hand again I'm going to Princess E-Spirit, and then I'm going to get my guards down early, and now I'm back to Goblin Barrel. And he doesn't have Valkyrie or Log, so he's kind of like uh, squashed right now. He's back to Log now, but his Queen's going to die. And they got a lot of damage again. I think I can just spam him again, because he doesn't have Log again. And the cycle's kind of like messed up. I'm going to Princess Valkyrie, and then E-Spirit and Barrel. Even though he explode, it's fine, because I can just rocket it once I get enough Elixir, and I should be good in the rocket right now wow i got so much damage down the left that was such a good uh goblin barrel valk princess play i could guard here to kill the valkyrie i just need two logs in the rocket so i'm just gonna log this queen and then okay i'm gonna inferno tower defensively while i cycle back to a second log i'm gonna valkyrie here on this queen to retarget it so he doesn't like take my whole tower I'm going to go E-Spirit here to block this Expo, and then I'm just going to Rocket Log the Tower. And I don't think that will take my Tower in time, I should be good. Yeah, there's no way that takes my Tower, so... That was a really nice uh, win there, just applying pressure when he didn't have Login Cycle and just tracking his hand, so he couldn't really do anything. GG's. I'm in the next match against Rice. Um, I think I'm just going to Log the Tower. Pretty safe play versus all decks, except Log Bait, I guess. He has a Mega Minion. I'm just going to Princess in the back, opposite of the Mega Minion. See what he wants to do. Uh, I'm going to Goblin Barrel in the corner, because he does have a Bowler in the Mega Minion, so he probably has Tornado. 
So he's played a really bad Ice Wizard. That was really bad. Um, I'm just going to cycle an Inferno Tower here because it will kill the Bowler and the Ice Wizard for a plus three trade. Okay, I'm going to E-Spirit down low to block the Ice Wizard. He goes for a Tombstone. Um, I'm just going to log the tower. See what he has. So this guy has Graveyard Freeze, I think. So, oh wait, I think he's going to Graveyard right now. That was a really bad Graveyard. I'm going to Barrel to pressure while defending since he can't afford arrows just yet. He's because he... Oh wait, okay, he can now. Okay. Um, well, he has to defend his Valkyrie and the uh, Guards. And he's pretty low on elixir, so I think I'm just gonna see what he does on defense. Maybe he ignores the guards. I don't think so. Maybe he'll like do Ice Wizard or something. Okay, wait, my guards are on tower. Okay, I'm gonna Princess E Spirit and Log to get this Ice Wizard damage and kill it. Okay, so yeah, that Mega Min is not a threat anymore. And I killed the Ice Wizard and I got some damage on the tower, which is nice. He doesn't have arrows in hand yet. He's only played two cards, Mega Minion and Ice Wizard, so. If I go for like something aggressive, he doesn't, he does have Bowler though, so I'm just gonna Valkyrie in the back. Cause, yeah, he has Bowler for the barrel. This matchup's pretty difficult cause he has, he has a lot of Goblin Barrel counters, but I can Rocket this Bowler here. So a, a nice free Rocket there. Um, I think I can go for a, just an, go for an Inferno Tower here to kill everything. It should get a lot of value. Then I can go for uh, Guards here and then E spirit in the back because he's gonna arrow, so I don't want his uh, arrows to my E spirit. Okay, that was kind of interesting. I'm just gonna log everything, and I should be good. Yeah, I'm good. If he puts anything in the back, I'm probably gonna rocket it, like an ice wizard or a mega minion or a bowler. I'm gonna princess this mega minion because it's gonna kill it, and then it will also counter push. I'm gonna goblin barrel just to get his arrows out of hand, so then I can go for guards on the graveyard freely. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm just gonna E-Spirit the back. I'm gonna log. Wait, my log didn't go. I'm just gonna Valk, and then I'm gonna... Oh wait, he went for a Mega Minion. I'm gonna rocket this Mega Minion. Kind of aggressive, but I think I can get away with it, because... He doesn't really have a good hand to punish me. Like, he can go in, but like, everything's just gonna die to my Inferno Tower. Okay, I'm gonna Guards right now, and then... Yeah, I should be good, because he has to freeze, then I can just log, and I'm fine. Everything's gonna die to the Inferno. And then, I can just- I think I can just rocket the tower again. I'm gonna Princess first though, just to get something on the board to make it more annoying for him to go in. So I'm just gonna rocket here. Hopefully that hits the Bowler, that'd be nice. Okay, unfortunately it doesn't hit the Bowler, but I'm just gonna go Inferno Tower here. Oh wait, he put the Mega Minion into it, that was really bad. I'm gonna Valkyrie over here, and then I can get an E-Spirit on the inside. Okay, that E-Spirit did a lot, and then I can log and one rocket takes up the tower. It does exactly 442, so... A, another nice win against Graveyard Freeze. There's a lot of Graveyard this Grand Challenge. <laughs> That's kind of interesting that there's so much Graveyard. But a nice win there nonetheless. I think I'm 11 and 0. Yeah. I'm in the next match against this guy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. I know I'm just going to fail very badly. Uh, he goes for Bats and Lumberjack. It looks like... Lava Hound clone or Golem clone? Probably Golem clone, but we'll see. Depending on what he plays next, I think I'll figure it out. Unless it's a baby dragon. Okay, um, I'm just gonna Valk the back since he's not doing anything. Hmm, it's, okay, he goes for Flying Machine. I, now I know it's Lava Clone. I'm just gonna Princess this Flying Machine and he'll probably Fireball, I guess. Oh wait, he has uh, arrows. I'm gonna Goblin Barrel Log because his only counter is Starmie. Nice, that's so much damage right there, perfect. Then I can just E-Spirit on this Flying Machine and I'm good. Only one shot please, okay, good. It's gonna be quite difficult to defend though because he does have uh, arrows instead of Fireball, so this matchup is much harder than it normally is. Okay, um, okay, he actually ignores those guards. It's gonna be a lot of damage. I'm gonna kinda go for an Inferno Tower here. Oh wait, wow, he actually blocks with the bats. So I'm gonna go Princess here to kill these bats. Oh no, it missed a bat. Oh no, that's so bad. Hopefully I can kill these first before he arrows. Okay, good. He's gonna arrows, so... I'm gonna E-Spirit Goblin Barrel on the right, cause he's gonna take my tower over here on the left, I think, so... 
I might as well just pressure just to try to take the tower back, like on the other side. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Perfect. Um, I think I can save my tower here with just guards, actually, on these lava puffs, because it will retarget to the baby dragon, and it's pretty low. Okay, yeah. Um, hopefully this doesn't take my tower. Okay, that's really good that that didn't take my tower. It should be, like, with, like, 300 or 400 HP. Okay, I'm gonna princess here on the right, so we can't arrows the princess and the tower. I'm just gonna go for an inferno tower here, and then go for a goblin barrel. Um, I'm gonna e-spirit these bats, and then go for guards to block. Okay, he sacked his tower. Wait, he did a really bad arrows. Um, I can log this skeleton army. I don't really know how he missed his arrows. <laughs> I don't really know how it's possible, but I'm gonna Valkyrie here on this flying machine. And I'm gonna go for a E-Spirit Barrel, because he doesn't have his arrows back. He got some damage. I got two shots, which is good. I'm gonna Princess over here, because I do want to kill this... And I also have a princess going. I could cycle two rockets. Nah, that's too risky. I'm gonna cycle my Inferno Tower early and then go Valkyrie at the bridge because he doesn't have anything to kill this quickly. So I can E Spirit here and then uh, Goblin Barrel as well because he doesn't want to waste his arrows because he needs it for his push. Okay, nice. That that that's rocket range. Whew. Really nice wind there, and that should be just a clean 12-0. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and. Let me know if you can win your first GC in the comments. Bye.